हेलो स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग एक्सरसाइज वन डी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज इज फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स एंड नेम द प्रॉपर्टी यूज्ड फर्स्ट पार्ट इज इलेवन प्लस डैश इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस इलेवन इलेवन इज कॉमन ऑन बोथ द साइड्स वट इज रिमेनिंग हेयर माइनस सो यू विल राइट माइनस ओके एंड विच प्रॉपर्टी इज दिस You know that if a plus b is equals to b plus a, here a is eleven and b is minus twenty seven. A plus b is equals to b plus a. They have given na. So this is the property, commutative property of addition. So right here, commutative property of addition. Commutative. property of addition next dash multiply minus 6 is equals to minus 6 multiply 12 minus 6 is common on both the sides so what is remaining here 12 okay so this is a multiply b Is equals to b multiply a. Which property is this? Of course, commutative property. But this is the commutative property of multiplication. So write here, commutative property of multiplication. Okay. Next. Three numbers we are adding on the left side, left hand side, and on right hand side we have two numbers. So one number is remaining. Which one is remaining? This is twenty one. Twenty one is missing on the right hand side. So right here twenty one. Okay, but we have grouped first two numbers on left hand side and on right hand side, the last two numbers. So this is the property which we have learned: a plus b in bracket plus c. Is equals to a plus b plus c in bracket. Okay, and which property was this? Associative property of addition. So right here, associative property of addition. Next. Again, three numbers we are adding on the left hand side and on right hand side. Two numbers are there and one is blank. So which number is missing? Minus ten is missing. So right here, minus ten. And again, these three numbers we are adding, but we have grouped in different way. First, we have grouped a plus in bracket b plus c, and then we have grouped equals to a plus b. Plus C. So, which property is this? Again, the same property, associative property of addition. This property we have used again. Now, the seventh part, A multiply B multiply C. Now we are multiplying three numbers. First, we have multiplied these three numbers, and on right hand side, two numbers we have. Third one is missing. So, which one is missing? Thirty nine is missing. So, write in the blank thirty nine. Okay, and this property is in bracket a multiply b multiply c is equals to a multiply then bracket b multiply c. Okay, so this is again associative property, but the associative property of multiplication. So right here, associative property of multiplication. Clear. Now the next part, ninth part. This is in multiplication and in bracket we have two numbers in addition. Now this is one twenty seven this number and this is multiplied by this. Again this one twenty seven is multiplied by one number five. So there should be five because this number is multiplied by this number and this number. One twenty-seven multiply twenty-five here, and one twenty-seven multiply five 
here. So if we write a into b plus c, it becomes a into b plus a into c. And which property is this? This is distributive property. Distributive property of multiplication over what is sign here plus over addition. Okay. Now the tenth part. Tenth part is minus 11 multiply. Now we have bracket minus 11 multiply 9 plus minus 11 multiply 2. Okay. So this number is multiplying by minus 11 by 9. We have plus sign here. Now minus 11 is multiplied by 2. Again this is distributive property. So same property will be here. Distributive property of multiplication over addition. Next question number 2 is subtraction of integer commutative. What is commutative property? Firstly recall. In commutative property of addition we do a plus b is equals to b plus a. In commutative property of multiplication we do a multiply b is equals to b multiply a. So in commutative property of subtraction it should be kya hona chahiye? a minus b is equals to b minus a. So check karte hain is this property exist in subtraction or not. So let's take two integers. Let a man lete hain a is 3 and b is 7. Okay. So a minus b. A minus b means 3 minus 7 is minus 4. b minus a. b minus a is what is b here? 7 minus a is 3. 4 minus 4 on the left hand side a minus b and on right hand side value of b minus a is 4. These are not equal but in commutative property it should be equal. So commutative property does not exist in integers and the reason is this because a minus b is not equals to b minus a clear next find the value of this sorry this is 997 so let's solve it students in this chapter we will solve the question while using property when we use property to solve any question, it becomes easier to calculate. Okay, it reduces our time of calculation. So in this, this 997 and this 997 is common. So take 997 outside the bracket. And this is in multiplication. So put the multiplication sign here. Now what is remaining here? 8792 minus here we have taken 997 common so what is remaining 792 997 as it is multiply when you will solve this bracket when you will subtract them you will get 8000 okay now multiply this by this simply you will multiply this number by 8 8 se multiply kare 8 7 za 56, 8 nines are 72, 72 plus 5, 77, 8 nines are 72 plus 7 is 79. And how many zeros were there? 3 zeros were there. So this is your answer 79,76,000. Next, again, use the property. Minus 295, minus 295 is common here. So take minus 295, 295 common in multiplication. In bracket there is minus 66. Plus sign is here. So put plus sign minus 34. 
Firstly, solve this bracket. Minus 295 as it is. Multiply. Minus 66. Plus minus. Minus 34. Minus 295. Multiply. Both have same sign. Minus minus plus. So add them. When you will add them, you will get 100. And sign will be a greater numeral which is minus. Now multiply them. Multiply this by this. 295 ones are 295. And how many zeros are there? Two zeros. And sign will be of minus minus. Multiplication make your other minus minus plus. So sign will be plus. So no need to put any sign. Your answer is 29,500. Next. Minus 70 as it is outside the bracket. Multiply inside the bracket. Firstly calculate, separate the number which have a plus sign and the number which have minus sign. This 10 and this 1 is of plus sign. Both have same sign plus sign. So these numbers will be added. What will you get? 117. Okay. So 117. Now, minus 8 and minus 39 both have same sign. So, these numbers will be added. What will you get? 47 and sign will be of minus. Okay. Now, minus 70 multiply. Solve this bracket. This is 70. 70. 7 7s are 49 and then you have two zeros and sign will be of minus because minus plus minus. This is your answer 4900 of negative sign. Next name the additive inverse of these numbers. Okay. Students while explaining the additive inverse I told you while making additive inverse we just change the sign of any number. If the number is positive, we will put the negative sign with that number to find the additive inverse. And if the number is already negative, we will make it positive to find the additive inverse. Okay. So, additive inverse of 15 will be minus 15. Additive inverse of minus 23 will be 23 because this is of negative sign. So, we will make positive. Additive inverse of 0 will be 0. Why? Because if we will put minus sign before 0, this is equals to 0. So, additive inverse of 0 is 0. Next, verify and also name the property used. Verify karna hai, it means we need to check is left hand side equals to right hand side which they have given in the question. So, firstly calculate the left hand side. Left hand side is minus 445 plus 315. Open the bracket first minus 445 plus 315. Both the numbers have different sign plus minus minus. So subtract them. When you will subtract these two numbers you will get 130. And that will be of minus sign. Now calculate the right hand side. Right hand side is 315 plus minus 445. Okay. Firstly open the bracket 315 plus minus minus 445. Both the numbers have different signs. So numbers will be subtracted. When you will subtract them you will get 130. And sign will be a greater numeral that means minus. So, left hand side is equals to right hand side. Okay. And what was left hand side? This minus 445 plus 315 is equals to 315 plus minus 445. And if this is A plus B is equals to B plus A and which property was this? Commutative property of addition. So right here commutative
property of addition clear next one again firstly you will calculate the left hand side then right hand side calculate the left hand side left hand side is minus 20 multiply in bracket minus 3 plus 9 firstly solve this bracket minus 20 multiply minus 3 plus 9 minus 20 multiply plus minus minus so subtract them 9 minus 3 is 6 and that will be of plus sign now multiply them 6 2 is 12 120 and we have odd number of times minus sign so we will put minus sign here so this is left hand side now calculate the right hand side minus 20 multiply minus 3 plus minus 20 multiply 9 20 multiply 3 is 60 minus minus plus plus 9 to the 18 1 0 minus sign okay 60 plus minus minus 180 both have different signs so values will be subtracted this is 120 of minus sign so from here left hand side is equals to right hand side 20 and left hand side was minus 20 multiply in bracket minus 3 plus 9 is equals to minus 20 multiply minus 3 plus minus 20 multiply 9 and this is equals to a multiply b plus c if a is minus 20 b is minus 3 and c is a c is 9 a multiply b plus a multiply c and which property was this this was distributive property of multiplication over addition so right here distributive property of multiplication over addition clear now the next question question number six find the product using suitable property so this is the first number keep it same now we will use any property here to reduce our calculation time okay so for this check this number 105 and check which multiple of 10 is near to this number near to this number we have 100 which is a multiple of 10 so we can write this 105 as 100 plus 5 okay now in distributive property we multiply the number which is outside the bracket to the all the numbers inside the bracket so multiply this minus 48 by 100 plus sign minus 48 multiply 5 now this is very simple to calculate 48 ones are 48 0 0 minus sign here plus 48 fives are 5 eights are 40 5 fours are 20 plus 4 24 and this is of minus sign now open the bracket minus 4800 minus 240 now both the numbers have same sign so the numbers will be added when you will add them you will get 5040 
and both the numbers have same sign minus so sign will be minus this is your answer and which property we have used here we have used distributive property next keep the first number same 62 and check the second number which multiple of 10 is near to this number near to this number we have 200 which is the multiple of 10 20 tens are 100 of there so this is the multiple of 10 so we will use this 200 here we can write 200 minus 1 okay because 200 minus 1 is equals to 199 Okay, so now use distributive property here. 62 multiply 200 minus 62 multiply 1. 2 2s are 4, 2 6 are 12. Then we have 2 zeros minus 62 1s are 62. Now both the numbers have different signs. So you will subtract them and you will subtract them. You will get 12,338. This is your answer now the next number is 115 multiply minus 98 you can also write this number as 115 of minus sign multiply 98 okay minus 115 which multiple of 10 is near to this 98 100 and 100 minus 2 is 98 okay so we can write this 98 as 100 minus 2 now used distributive property multiply it by this and this minus 115 multiply by 100 minus minus 115 multiply by 2 solve it 115 multiply 1 115 now we have two zeros this is of minus sign now minus minus plus 2 5s are 10, 2 1s are 2 plus 1 3, 2 1s are 2. Now both the numbers have different sign. So you will subtract these numbers and when you will subtract these numbers you will get 11,270. Okay 11,270 and this will be of minus sign here. So this is your answer. Next, we can also write this number as minus 325 multiply 204. Why we are making second number positive? Because we are going to break this number and this will be easy to break positive number. Okay. So minus 325 and bracket multiply which multiple of 10 is near to this number. 200 so we can write 200 plus 4 okay now use distributive property multiply this number by the each number inside the bracket minus 325 will be multiplied by 200 plus minus 325 multiplied by 4 when you will multiply these numbers, you will get 65,000 plus minus minus. When you will multiply these numbers, you will get 1,300. Okay. Both the numbers have same sign. So, these numbers will be added. Add them. You will get 66,300. Okay. And that will be of minus sign. This is your answer. Next is fill in the blanks. This is minus 63. Me kya add kare that you get the same number. If you add 0 in any number, you get the same number. So 0 will be here. Which number should be added in this 40 to get 0? When we add additive inverse of any number in that number, we get 0. Additive inverse means opposite sign of that number. So we will add minus 14 here. 
117 multiply dash is equal to 117. We are getting the same number. If we multiply any number by 1, we get the same number. So we will put 1 here. Now in the next part, answer is 0 and we are dividing any number by minus 75. We will get 0 only in one case if the numerator or the number to which we are dividing is 0. Next is division of integers closed. No, this is not closed. Why? Because if we divide any integer 6 by 3, we get 2. Yes, this is integer. But if we divide any other integer like 5, we divide by this 7. Both are integers. But in that case, we are not getting any integer. This is fraction or we can say rational number. This is not integer. So this is not closed. What is the reason? Because 5 divided by 7 is not an integer. Next question number 9. State whether the statement is true or false. The smallest positive integer is 1. Yes. This is the integer line 0. And the smallest positive integer is 1. On this side we have negative integers. And on this side we have positive integers. And the smallest positive integer is 1. So this is true. The identity element for addition in integer is 1. No. Why? Because when we add identity element, we get the same number. For example, a plus 0 is a. So 0 is the identity element for addition, not 1. So this is false. The additive inverse of 0 is the number itself. Yes. Additive inverse means we just change the sign and for 0 if we change the sign we get 0 minus 0 is also equals to 0 so we can say that additive inverse of 0 is 0 that means the number itself next fourth part when two negative integers are multiplied for example minus 2 multiply minus 3 two negative integers are multiplied the product is always let's check 3 2s are 6 minus minus plus product will be plus but we said negative so this is false next 14 minus 3 minus 8 is equals to 14 minus 3 minus 8 this is associative property okay they have just grouped the numbers so firstly calculate the left hand side 14 minus 3 firstly you will solve the bracket now this is 11 and then minus 8 so on left hand side this is 3. Now on right hand side 14 minus firstly solve the bracket 3 minus 8 is minus 5. Open the bracket 14 minus minus plus then 5. So it will be 19. So they are not equal and here they have given equal sign. But they are not equal now. So this is false. So students, today we have completed exercise 1D. Lot of practice is required in these questions. Practice as much as possible. Thank you. Have a good day.